NHL players across the league are wearing a special decal on their helmet to honor the barrier breaking player Willie O'Ree. It was just over 63 years ago that he made his debut for the Boston Bruins, becoming the first black player in the NHL. There wasn't a day that went by that I had, you know, racial remarks and racial slurs, but I just let him win in one ear and out the other. You know, when I started playing uh, not only in junior hockey, but uh, pro hockey, you know, I, I fought a lot. I, you know, I fought because I had to, not because I wanted to. At 85 years old, Willie decided it was time to share part of his story that the world didn't know about him. He penned his memoir in which he talks about how he overcame the racism he's been subjected to his entire life and detailed some of the more traumatic moments he experienced on the ice. I knew I was going to have problems in Chicago and um, got in got into a, an altercation with a player, uh, racial remarks, but um, he butt-ended me in the, in the mouth as a stick and broke my nose and, and uh, broke my lip and knocked my two front teeth out. And, and then he just stood there and smiled and, and made a racial uh, remark like, he's not going to do anything. Well, I had to do something right then or else I was going to find myself uh, with being abused every time I come into Chicago. So I uh, got into a fight. We were both uh, ejected from the game. The fans became so violent that uh, I had to stay in the dressing room. Now, this happened about six minutes into the first period. I just told myself, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay. Uh, I'm going to work hard and keep focused on what I want to do. But that was about the only uh, really big time that, that, that I, you know, that I had. And, you know, it's, that was back in 19, 1961. <laughs> Since the late 90s, Willie has been working as a diversity ambassador with the NHL. Oh, it's, it, it's, it's really progressed um, in, in big time, you know. Things are getting better. Uh, diversity is, is getting better. Uh, there are more kids playing hockey today than ever before. There are more girls playing hockey today than ever before. There are more programs being organized to make it available for these kids to get on the ice and play. In the last five years, Willie has been inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. He's had rinks and awards named after him and was in a featured documentary about his life. But he says it's the work he's doing with the youth that he's most proud of and can't wait to be working with them in person again. All I can say is I'm grateful and uh, much appreciative. Uh, and uh, hopefully um, we, can, we can get going so we can get, get fans back into the arena. Mr. O'Ree took part in a virtual conversation on Monday with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau in classrooms across the country. He spoke about social justice and racism. For City News in Toronto, I'm Lindsay Dunn.